NixOS is a Linux distribution based around Nix Package Manager and it is well known for its steep learning curve and overly complex features. I recently moved to NixOS for its vast package repositories, clean configuration from one set of config files and ability to roll back updates. But I, like many more people, noticed that one of the things NixOS could have definitely done better is documentation. It does not do a good job explaining why you should do something, like, for example, installing software in one way or another, and does not even list supported ways in one place. But if you needed such thing, it is lucky for you, it is exactly the topic of today's video. You can call me Laika, and today, I will tell you what other ways available to install and run software on NixOS, and what are their advantages. This video is not a complete guide on these methods, and does not explain behind the scenes working of things either. So sit down, don't forget to run Nix Collect Garbage to clear out unused packages, and let us begin our talk. Before I start this video, I should make a quick notice. This video talks about quite a complex and not self-explanatory topic, which is not made better by branding for Nix and Nix OS being very confusing at times. When I say package, which usually means software packaged as file that will be unpacked by system to install, I mean Nix Ovation. It is basically the same for you but there are some technical differences, such as storing in Nix store instead of unpacking and made to be automatically built from source instead of packaged and downloaded. Nix does a lot of work for you to not notice it, such as checking external website for pre-built packages so you don't need to waste your computing resources on building everything from source, and managing applications so you can launch everything normally from command line or graphical interface without thinking how they are actually stored. I will also mention flakes. They are Nix Flakes, new experimental format for config files and packages that is better than current one with newer, faster and more user-friendly versions of command line tools made for it, but it is slightly more complex and is not used by default just yet. Enabling Flake support is pretty easy with this option in your NixOS config. Next, settings dot experimental features equals list with strings including Nix command and flakes. One of the first things you would want to do as Linux user is bringing up your command line and typing three letters, install and package name. It is kind of possible in NixOS and pure Nix with Nix env command, or with Nix profile if you have flakes enabled. This is a viable way to install packages, but it often referred as incorrect one, since it does not use most of Nix advantages. It is still a working way you can choose if you use Nix outside of NixOS or if you don't have root access. For example, with Nix N score I and Nix's dot mine test on Nix OS, or Nix N score I and Nix BKG's dot mine test with Nix outside of Nix OS, you would install a package for mine test that will be available from command line in both cases and from graphical interface on Nix OS. Nix profile install Nix BKG's hash mine test is a little bit different, since it will install package inside of so called profile with ability to do rollbacks into several independent profiles and will install package from latest and stable repository. If you want to use stable, which is a little bit outdated but better tested version of packages, you need to add slash nix as minus 23u5 or your other corresponding stable version name after nix bkgs but before hashtag symbol. Also, profile has higher priority than nix env, so packages installed through later will not be available until you delete profile and stop using nix profile command. Nix shell is a way to download or build packages and run software in them from separate command line session without persistently installing anything in system. This allows user to try out new software or to use some usually not needed packages without bloating the system. Use command like nix shell pmine test to download a package then run it through command line. After that type exit command to return to command line without this package or just close the terminal window. Nix shell by which I mean Nix shell in two words work similarly in this use case. If you have flakes enabled you can use it to download software from flake repositories and run it. If you just need to run one application, however, especially if it is graphical, you better of using Nix run that downloads a package and run software in it right away. Syntax is similar to Nix profile install, Nix shell Nix bkg's hash mine test for Nix shell, or Nix run Nix bkg's hash mine test for Nix run. All three of these are also viable for running software outside of Nix OS or without root access. But I should also add that downloaded packages are still stored on device, waiting to be used again, or wasting disk space until they are deleted on next run of Nix collect garbage command. Main way to persistently install package on Nix OS is to modify Nix OS configuration file or module imported in such file. 
Easiest way to do this is with environment.system packages, where you define packages available to any user on the system, as list of package names prefixed with pkgs dot and separated by spaces. Other way is to use user-specific package lists in users.users.yourusername.packages which works almost the same. We use the Nixus options to install and possibly even configure software that supports it on a system level. Some software does not work well if installed only as a package, especially if it requires some system-wide changes or daemon to run, and some is not available as configuration option, but works as just a package. For changes to be applied, use NixOS rebuild switch command as root, for example with sudo, to rebuild and apply your system, or NixOS rebuild boot, to only apply rebuild system on next reboot. This is the way you will usually install software on NixOS, since it allows to rebuild the same system on other devices with same software and even most of system-wide settings. If you are not on NixOS, or if you are a user without a root access, and want to also have a reproducible config-based software list, or if you want to set up user application settings from main config files, in all of the cases you need Home Manager. It is external software that allows you to manage your user-specific software and its configuration using Nix. Basically, it's a software and a set of configuration files created by user either in home directory or imported inside system config. You can just add home packages similar to user packages in Nixos configuration, or use home manager options, similar to Nixos system-wide options. It also may return errors where it encounters pre-existing configuration files, in that case you need to move them out of the way or delete if you are sure you don't need them. In case if you need some kind of working environment, set of packages and environment variables outside of your system configuration that you can just share to any person who also has Nix, your stop is shell.nix, or rather, a Nix configuration file you can use to call Nix shell command to get config from it instead of manually specifying package names every time. Use Nix shell shell.nix, or just Nix shell in the same directory, to use the shell file. In case of flakes, though, it is made using a specific option inside a fake file with different syntax, and is called using Nix develop command instead. But what if you need to launch something not in NixOS repositories? Of course, NixBKGs has a lot of packages ported from other distributions and standalone executables, you will still need to run some specific not package software. It is harder to do in NixOS since it does not abide by some standards, making just launching executable directly impossible, but this is actually still possible using built-in Nix functions through some external tools. Easiest way to do this if software is standalone binary, a binary in folder with everything new in it, like most of games, is to run it through Steam Run, a tool emulating standard Linux distribution with most common dependencies. It's called that way because it uses the same settings as package used to install Steam, the video game store and platform. If software is packaged as a image instead, which is easy to know if you look at file extension, you need to run it using app image run tool, which works in a similar way, but tailored towards the images. There is some other other methods, both specific to NixOS, like NixAlien and NixLD, and just available for any Linux distribution, like Wine for Windows applications, Flatpak and Docker for Linux software packaged for them, Wadroid for Android applications, and many more, but that could be a topic for another video. But for now, that concludes my talk on different ways of installing software on NixOS. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful. Please tell me if I made some mistakes, and I hope to see you again next time.